Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my updated foundation routine just so I don't have to include it in any other makeup tutorials that I do. I will just have it linked down below in my future eye makeup tutorials and all that good stuff. So stay tuned to see how I've been doing my foundation for this past summer 2015. So starting off, I'm going to be priming my skin and I'm using the face primer from Global Goddess. It's called the Upgrade Complexion Face Primer. And then I'm going in with my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC20. And I pretty much just conceal any acne, acne spots, any redness, and you know, pretty much just anything that I want to cover before I put on the foundation that I'm afraid the foundation might not cover. And then I just blend that out with a flat top kabuki brush. And I got the white brushes off of Amazon. And then I'm going in with my Revlon Color Stay um, foundation in 180 Sand Beige. And I have the normal to dry skin one because that's typically what I am. Although in the summer I do get a little oily, but it's really nothing like horrible. And then I'm just using my Real Techniques buffing brush to blend out my foundation. This has been my favorite brush to blend out my foundation for pretty much, the, I, I believe I had this for two years and I've literally loved it. And um, it doesn't shed, it, it blends out flawlessly. It, it's just an amazing brush and I've been using it for a while and I still love it just as much. Although I would like to try a new foundation brush. So if you have any that you are loving, um, you can leave the recommendations down below because I would definitely love to check into them. And then what I do after that is I just go in with a little bit more foundation and I put it on the spots that I just need a little bit more coverage. I don't always do this, but when I feel it is necessary, I will take this extra step. And then after that, I just going in back in with my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the same color, NC20. And I just use this to highlight my under eye area. And I also do a little bit on my forehead, kind of like an upside down triangle. I do down the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, and a little bit on my chin. Just to balance out the highlight. Because if you do it really heavy under the eyes, it can look um, kind of uneven or just like awkward. And I'm just using a pointed kabuki brush to blend all of this out. I also got this brush on Amazon, like I've said before in um, other videos as well. All of the ones with the white handles, the brushes, are ones that I got off of Amazon. But this one is shedding so bad, as I will show you guys. Like, it's actually horrible. I really need to get... Look, look at that. It's disgusting. I really need to get, need to get a new brush to blend out my concealer because this one is just like... Ew, look, that's even more. Like, it's legit every time I use it. It sheds like crazy, and I don't even know how it has any hair left. But anyways, um, then I'm going in with my NYX um, Highlight and Contour Pro Palette. And I'm just using the white shade from that. It's like the whitest one. And I just use that to highlight my under eye area. And pretty much just like anywhere that I highlighted with concealer, I will go over with that powder. And then for the rest of my face, I'm using my Holy Grail Makeup Forever High Definition Powder. And I just use a um, fluffy powder brush to apply this. Sometimes I use a powder bu powder puff. It just depends. Um, I prefer a powder puff, but I, don't, I like to switch it up. So, And then the bronzer that I'm using is the Too Faced chocolate soleil bronzer and it literally just rolled out of my hands across the floor <laughs> i'm pretty positive this is the one in medium deep but if you want to just make sure like if you're curious um i will have all of the products listed down below so if there's anything that um you guys like didn't catch me saying or you're just curious about my products that i use in tutorials will always be listed down below so you can always check the description and then i just use the nyx highlighting contour pro palette once more and i use the second um lightest nah, yeah it's like the second kind of lightest um contour shade in that and i use that to really contour my cheeks and my forehead and i also do my nose and my jawline and i just use kind of like a smaller brush to you know get more defined a more defined contour than you would just with like bronzing bronzing is just kind of like warming up the face contouring is actually like specifically doing the designated areas of your face that you want to contour and, you know, make appear like shad like shadows on your face. Kind of like where the sun hits you. It's also where you would apply bronzer. But yeah, you can see what I'm doing. Just putting it down my nose and then blending it out. 
Um, if you feel like you need to blend it out, you can just get a big fluffy powder brush and, you know, fix up any errors that you feel like you might have made or if you did it too dark in some spots. It's always fixable. And then I'm using two blushes. The first one that I go in with is the MAC satin blush in well dressed and it's just a really light pink I think it's perfect for summer because it just looks good when you're a little bit tan and it's not too much like I don't really like to use too much blush in the summer because I feel like it can make you look like you're painted like a painted face so I don't like to go too heavy hand with the blush and then I just use the benefit Coralista over top of that other blush because it is like shimmery so I like to add a little bit of shimmer I just like this blush a lot to layer. And then for like the star of the show is the Becca Jaclyn Hill Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed in Champagne Pop. And it is legit gorgeous. I'm just using a small little powder um, Smashbox brush to apply this on my cheekbones. I do a little bit in the middle of my forehead, my cupid's bow down the bridge of my nose. And um, I do a little bit on like my temples up above my eyebrows too just because I like to give like a... Um, Kind of like, what is the new trend? It's called like, um, what is it called? It's called strobing. I really don't know why I could not figure out what that is called, but for whatever reason, I could not. So yeah, it's um, just like strobing, except I still do my contour and like my bronzer because I just prefer that. But yeah, pretty much just like all the points of your face that you would do if you were strobing. And then I'm just going in with my, is it Benefit? The Benefit? Yeah, the Benefit Gimme Brow, and I'm in the color medium, I want to say. Yeah, medium deep. And I just use that to fill in my brows. And that is pretty much it for my um, foundation routine. This is, like, what I've been doing since summer, since, I mean, I haven't had all of these products all summer, but, yeah, this has pretty much been my foundation routine. I really like the um, Revlon Color Stay Foundation all year round, but I don't think it's too heavy for summer, so I really do like it. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll yeah, see you in my next I don't video. Know what was Bye, guys. Me, but, yeah, I hope that was helpful for any of you who are looking to make a YouTube channel.